So today's video, I'm just going to do kind of like a November wrap up slash December TBR ish slash kind of update and like where I'm going in December with my content. Let's knock that one out first because that was really easy. So in October, November, I filmed like a bunch of stuff. I filmed a bunch of different videos and a lot of them like I included like what day it was and stuff. So I can't even pretend that I filmed them more recently. <laughs> my life has been a little bit chaotic the past few months, <laughs> more so than usual. So yeah, I filmed a bunch of stuff, but then I just never got around to editing it. So what I'm going to do for December is I'm going to put out like I'm going to work on editing the stuff that I already have filmed and putting that up and then if I get a chance to film more videos I will. I do want to do some, um, I've been tagged in a couple of things by a couple different people or like to do tags and obviously like end of the year content and stuff. So I do want to film more videos but most of the videos that I'm going to be putting out first are like things that I filmed before so like dates and stuff might be a little like older but that's okay there's still videos that I want to put out like it's stuff that I had fun doing or things that I've been wanting to make for a while and so I just have to get around to editing them so November was a little bit of a slower reading month for me I think I was a little burnt out after two months straight of doing like readathons and reading quite a bit um and because I take in a lot of my books in audio format these days, um, I was doing a lot of podcast listening in November, so I didn't really make it through a lot of audiobooks. That being said, I did finish two books and I made it a decent way through another one. Nope, I finished three books and I made it a decent way through another one, so four. Um, the first thing that I finished in November was You Were There Too. Uh, I don't remember the author mostly because I tried to purge this book from my memory as soon as I finished but the cover will be here. Uh, I gave this book two stars. I did not enjoy this book. It was a little... so I can't personally say it was triggering because I am not the person that might be triggered by this book but the content in this book did not match the synopsis of this book in a way that could be triggering to certain people. Um, and I remember, I finished this at the very beginning of the month, I remember I filmed a clip in my car kind of explaining this, so I'm going to insert that clip here. I just want to say, I'm 77% into um, You Were There Too, and I hate this book. I'm only going to finish it because I'm already so close, but we have a narcissistic main character, like her and her husband have zero communication in their relationship. Like what I thought was going to be the main plot point to this story is basically a subplot to a main plot that could be really, really, really triggering for certain people that there's absolutely no indication of in the summary. Um, I mean, maybe that's my fault for not looking super deep into it before I started reading it, but like, I usually don't and I'm sure there's people that would be super triggered by this that also wouldn't. I don't think I'm the intended audience for this book. Like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the people that this book, maybe the subject matter in this book and the way it's being told would be comforting to someone in that situation, but I just don't like it. I hate every character in this book. Like this book makes me feel gross. Like we keep going back and forth, like walking this line of like cheating but like in a way that's poorly done I just I don't like it I'll talk more about it in my wrap-up but I don't like it in the synopsis this book is about this woman who was dreaming of this man she was happily married and but she was having these dreams featuring this other man her and her husband moved to a new town and the man lives there and then the twist in the synopsis is he's been dreaming of her too. So I figured it would be one of those things, it would be like a romance. The main theme in this book is actually the main character's struggles with miscarriage and like not being able to get pregnant, not being able, like not having viable pregnancies. And it just didn't sit well with me. And then on top of it, we have these like, are they cheating? They're not cheating, but it's sort of cheating, but it's not really cheating when done well, can make for a good book. 
but it wasn't done well in this book. So I just, I, there was literally nothing about this book that I liked. I gave it two stars because in general, I feel like there was nothing really wrong with the book. It was just not for me. And I feel like it's sold, it's misrepresented in the synopsis. So I didn't like that. So I, like, I didn't, <sighs> actually, I think in my review on Goodreads, <laughs> I actually said that I hate this book, but I just really didn't like it. I don't, I think it was misrepresented in the synopsis. I didn't like it. I think it can be potentially super triggering for certain people. And I just, I, I didn't like the story. I feel like I was robbed of a good story that the synopsis told me was going to be what I got. And then I didn't get that at all. Uh, so yeah, moving on. The next book I finished was, wow, I just ranted about that. Hey, this is going to be a quick video. I'm already five and a half minutes in. Um, the next book I finished was, um, I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy. I couldn't remember the name of it for a second. So I am slightly too old for like the iCarly generation of Nickelodeon. Um, I think it came out while I was in college, so I wasn't really part of that. Um, I don't know what all these hand gestures are today. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put my hands down. Um, I never watched iCarly. I didn't know anything really about Jeanette McCurdy. I knew she was the blonde girl from iCarly, but that's pretty much as far as my knowledge of her or the show went. I know it's about like a YouTube-esque web show, I guess. Um, but that's as far as my knowledge went. But this book was so hyped, like all over the place. I just kept seeing it over and over and over and over again and hearing how amazing it was. And I hadn't read like a nonfiction in a while, um, especially not like a memoir, I don't think. So I was like, you know what? Let's just read it. There was a huge wait list at the library. So I was actually on the wait list for it at the library for like three months, um, which is why it wasn't on my November TBR. You Were There Too was on my November TBR. I'm pretty sure that's the only book from my November TBR that I actually read, by the way. Uh, but yeah, so the hold just happened to come in. So I was like, okay, I have to read this before it needs to go back to the library. Um, so I listened to that. It's really short. It didn't take me long to get through at all. And her life was super messed up. Like, super messed up. And I think it gave a good look at, like the life of a child star and like how, like when you're a kid, when you're a kid, every kid is like, oh my God, I wish I could be an actress and like star on TV or be a famous singer or whatever. And I think this book did a really good job of, you know, giving you that look behind the curtain of how miserable your life can actually be just because you're on TV and like you're a famous kid, your life can be terrible. Um, and like, just, she did a good job of like, kind of showing that like, even if you're recovering, like recovery is not something that's quick. So like, she's in her mid to late twenties now, I think. And she's still working on recovering from all the things that she went through as a kid. So, and like, obviously is still going through now. She's still putting in a lot of effort to get better. So I think it was a very interesting read. As someone who really, like I said, doesn't know anything about the actress, um, you know, or I guess she's not really an actress anymore. She said she quit acting. Um, as someone who doesn't really know much about the person that the book is written by, I still, I don't know if enjoyed is the right word. I'm not going to use that word. Um, it was still an interesting peek behind the curtain, like I said, I guess. And then the last thing I finished in November, which technically today is December 1st and I just finished it this morning. So technically I finished it in December, but like, I think it was 96% of it was finished in November. So we're counting it, uh, is Crave by Tracy Wolf. Now listen, I know this isn't great literature. <laughs> I am well aware that this is not great literature, but I had a really good time with this book. As someone who was full on Twilight fangirl circa 2008, I had a really good time with this book. This series was kind of pitched to me as Twilight 
but if Bella ended up with Jacob and I was like hashtag team Jacob all the way when I was reading Twilight back in 2008. So obviously I'm gonna read it. <laughs> Even though I am no longer the target audience, like obviously for like nostalgia's sake, I'm gonna read it. I ended up giving this book 3.5 stars slash four stars. Uh, again, not great literature, but just based on enjoyment alone. I think it is very accurately like called a redo of Twilight. It's basically Twilight, um, but with like a slightly more involved story um, and a slightly less dumb heroine and a slightly less annoying Edward. Jackson, Jackson is not as insufferable as Edward. I will just say that. But at the same time, like the, the melodrama is also still there and like the teen angst is just as high as it was in Twilight. I don't really know, but I enjoyed it. I do already have the second book from the library and I'm on hold for the third one. So I do plan on continuing the series, even if it is not like the best thing I've ever read. The last book that I was reading in November is One Step Too Far by Lisa Gardner. I have about 100, no, not even about, I have exactly 100 pages left in this book. I was really hoping to finish this in November, but I didn't quite make it. So this is a book where you are following Frankie. She's kind of like a private, she's not even like a private investigator because she doesn't get hired by these people, but basically she goes around and she solves cold cases. And there is this man, Timothy, who on the night of his bachelor party, him and his friends went hiking and like camping in the woods, like in the deep woods of Wyoming. And something happened. We're still not 100% clear on that. And he went missing, never to be found again. So five years later, this book takes place five years later, when Frankie and a group of seven other people, including the boy's father, have gone back into the woods to try one more time to find him or like his remains, I guess you could say, like any indication of like what happened to Tim. And this book kind of leads me into my reading plans for December, 15 minutes into filming a video that I said was going to be really quick. <laughs> so in December, I'm mostly just gonna be mood reading. I'm not really gonna have a set TBR, but there are a few things that I'm going to be pulling from. So this is one of them. I'm going to finish this in December, obviously. Um, I have The Monarchs on my Kim, my, I almost called it my Kimble. I have The Monarchs on my Kindle, which I'm still working on. I think I'm like 38, 40% through that now. Um, so I do want to finish that. So that will be finished in December. And I have a bunch of books out from the library that I have not yet touched and they are supposed to be returned like mid-December so I'm gonna be kind of picking from these. Farm to Trouble, this is a cozy mystery. Shiloh ditches her big city job uh, to come back to Michigan and save her family farm and then it's a cozy mystery so I assume somebody dies and she tries to figure out what happened as all cozy mysteries do. Uh, Margaret Atwood, The Handmaid's Tale. This is one of those books that I've just kind of always had on my TBR in my mind and wanted to read but never got around to and it was just right there. It kind of like jumped out at me from the shelf so I'm gonna try to read that. Okay, Fortuna Sworn. This, I was surprised my library had this first of all, uh, but second, this I'm 99% sure was in my last five star predictions video, uh, which if I remember, I will link above, but it was from like a long time ago and I really don't know that I've read any of the books on it, maybe one or two, um, but this was one of them and I've been wanting to read this for a really long time and they actually have at least the second one in the series at my library as well. So I saw it, I picked it up. Hopefully we'll get to that. I have Remote Control by Nettie Okorafor. I read Nor by her, was it in September? October? 
I don't know, a couple months back, I read Noor by this author and I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to check out another one of her works. This is the one that I've had my eye on and it's super short. <laughs> I think it's not even 200 pages, so I figured that was a good next step. And lastly, Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. This one, uh, if I remember, it's something to do with people looking at an apartment that's for rent and there's like a hostage situation. That's all I really remember from the synopsis, but I've been really, I've really been wanting to check out Frederick Bachman's work. I've had Beartown on several TBRs for several years and I still have not read it, um, but my library had this one. It was right there, so I picked it up. All right, so yeah, I think that's it. December for me is just going to be kind of a chill reading month. I'm going to try to finish the things I've already started. <laughs> the Dragon Reborn I still haven't picked back up. Um, and maybe try to read some of these library books. I do have a vacation in December, so I'm hoping to do a bunch of reading. We will see. I don't have any plans. My husband isn't on vacation, so it's going to be kind of a staycation. I guess that's everything. Uh, channel update. All my videos are going to be old. Please excuse me talking about like October and November in the videos. <laughs> Just pretend they're current. Uh, I went over the books that I read in November and yeah, that's my TBR for December. I said TBR-ish because like Again, it's not really a TBR. I basically was like, hey, I'm going to mood read and finish a bunch of stuff that I started and never finished. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm sorry this video got a little longer than I thought it was going to. If you stuck around, thank you. Uh, let me know what you're reading in December. And I hope you have a great month. I hope you enjoy your holidays. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.